Hello and praise the Lord. My name is Grace Miner and I serve as one of the pastors at Nairobi Chapel Langata. It is a joy and an honor to bring for you as someone net today. I don't know how many of us love stories, but I have a story to tell about for Jesus. If you've been privileged to go to Mombasa, then you've been probably have had a visit to the site. But if you haven't gone to Mombasa, fret not. Google, get to Fort Jesus, you'll just see it and you're good to go. Now, the Fort Jesus was built by the Portuguese towards the 16th century, and it was built to protect the town from outside invaders. The fort takes the shape of a man when viewed from an aerial view. This was new to me, because when you go to Fort Jesus, you really don't care how the shape looks like. But from an aerial view, it actually has taken the shape of a man. The original layout of the fort, despite several changes, has survived almost unchanged over centuries. And the reasons why this Fort Jesus was built, it was that the Portuguese wanted to protect themselves from any enemy attacks. It was also a military base where expeditions were sent against hostile coastal states. It was also used as a watchtower to see enemies as they approached the Indian Ocean. Last but not least, the Portuguese also kept their weapons there. And you may be wondering, why am I coming with this story about Fort Jesus? It's because today I want to speak about the true fort, Jesus Christ. The true fort, Jesus Christ. Now, in Psalm 31, from verse 1 to 3, it says, In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me. Come quickly to my rescue. Be my rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. Since you're my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. The same psalm, the book of Psalm 71, 1 to 3, it also says, In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Rescue me and deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge to which I can always go. Give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Here we see Christ being our true fort. Here we see Christ being our refuge. And you may be wondering the difference between the two. They almost have the same meaning. A refuge is a shelter or protection from danger or distress. Taking refuge is like finding a safe place during a storm or getting comfort in a time of trouble. Fortress is a strong place as well, but it has a deeper meaning implying that it is to lie alongside in wait to catch an animal or man or an enemy. Now, even as we look at this whole image about the true fort, who is Jesus Christ, we have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. He is our true fortress and refuge. And all that is required of us is one, to fully trust him and not lean on our own understanding. Even as Proverbs 3, 5 says, Again, number two, to be assured of his protection and deliverance from adversity. Because the reason why Fort Jesus in Mombasa was built is that it was to be able to protect the Portuguese from being attacked. It was also a watchtower. And so they knew as long as they were on the inside of Fort Jesus, that they would be able to get at see an enemy coming and they would prepare and they would fire the ammunition against the enemy. One, fully trust in God. Two, be assured of his protection and deliverance of adversity. And three, acknowledge who the Lord is, our refuge and our fortress. Accept to abide under his shadow. Then, then and only then will we be able to confess like David that he is my refuge and he is my fortress. Friends, we are in such a, a season of adversity, a season where um, like just... A few hours ago, I was telling my friend, I feel as if I'm in a dream. When will, when will I ever wake up? We feel as if we're in trouble. We feel as if we have been attacked. But I want to encourage you this morning or this afternoon or this evening or this time that you're watching that Christ is the true fort. That do not despair. Trust in him. Do not lean on your own understanding. Be assured that he will protect you and deliver you, you and your household. Acknowledge that God himself is your refuge and is your fortress and that you will abide under his shadow. Psalm 91 has largely been quoted in this season 
and I will not be passed by. I will also quote it today. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And it continues to say how God assures us of his protection and his deliverance. As long as we trust in him, are assured of his protection and, he, and that he's going to, to deliver us, acknowledge who he is, then and only then will we be able to confess as David, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him I trust. What is the state of your heart now? How has this season, COVID-19, impacted you as an individual or as a family? Be encouraged to know that the Lord Jesus Christ is the true fort, a refuge and a fortress for you, and under his, under his canopy, you are safe. Psalm 31, 24 says, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart and all you hope in the Lord. Be of good courage, I repeat, and he shall strengthen your heart, all you hope in the Lord. The moment you see that image of Fort Jesus in Mombasa, remember that Christ is the true fort in your life and be assured of his protection over you and his deliverance for you. May the Lord bless you. Mm -hmm.